I'm going to take you step by step how I made this awesome CV resume template using Elementor Page Builder inside of WordPress. Let's get started. <laughs> To get started, I'm going to add a profile image for my CV resume. So I dragged in the image widget. I'm going to change it to my profile image. And so it won't be so big. I'll go into the section settings. And over here, I'll set the content width to 500. In the image, I'm going into style, percent width. And I'll drop this down to something like 80% or maybe even 75%. Back to the widgets pane, I'm going to add a heading, center that, and I'm going to write over here, hello. Underneath, I'm going to add another heading, and I'm going to write, my name is Alex Smith and center that as well since the hello world hello word is not important I'm going to change its HTML tag to be a div or a span and now I want to increase increase its size so I'm going into style typography and I'm going to slide this up so it's really really big under the weight, I'm going for a bold weight, so we can go for 800. And I want to add underneath this title, which should be an H1. And I think that's a bit too big, so I'm going to go into Style, Typography, and play around with this until I get the exact size I wanted back to the widgets pane and I'm going to add a paragraph using the text editor for the description. Let's center that in the style tab and over here you can say hey I'm a UX designer check out my portfolio I'm based in New York City or whatever you want. So we got everything pretty much set up I want to add a little button so I'm gonna search for button now you can use the default buttons, this default button, or if you want to spice it up a little bit, I have unlimited elements, which is a widgets library installed. And I'm going to put a button, which is called icon hover effect button, which when you hover over it, it just makes a cool sliding down effect with a different icon. So. For the icon, I'm going to choose an arrow, a down arrow. The reason for that is because I want this button to be like a download CV or download resume button. And once I did that, I can change the text to download resume. Perfect. I think that looks good. And let's add some background color to our section. So in the style tab, background, and we can go for color. Let's make that yellow. To make things look a little bit more special here, I'm going to the hello widget, change the color to white. And in advanced tab, I'm going to unlink the values. And for the top margin, I'm going to set it to a negative value just so it overlaps the image in an interesting way. Place that however you want. Go back into the section settings by right click advanced and we can add some padding from top and some padding from the bottom. Perfect. Let's jump into the next section since I think the first section looks pretty cool. In the next section I want to write what services we offer or he offers or I offer. So I'm going to choose to use two intersections 
and I'll explain in a while why I split this into two different intersections. The first intersection will have only one column and the second one will have three columns. So parent section, two intersections, first intersection, one column, second intersection, three columns. Over here, in the first intersection, I'm going to add a heading. And I'll center that and I'll write over here services. Let's style it in style tab, typography, and we'll push this up a little bit and give it a weight just so it's a little bolder for the text color we can choose something from our color palette and next thing I'm going to do is add some text so using the text editor just drag that inside I want to make it a lighter color so in the text color I'm just gonna choose a lighter gray center the text and I don't want it to be so wide so in the intersection I can just choose the content width to be 500 like we did before so our grid is consistent now that's the reason why I chose to use an intersection because the next three columns don't need to be so narrow in this intersection I'm going to use an icon box and we can use the default Elementor icon box so I'm just going to drag that inside and over here I want to state all the services that Alex offers so it's graphic design let's duplicate by copy and paste everything is with right click each time you see this sub menu it means I'm right clicking or on the column or on the widget or on the section or on the intersection just make sure you're in the right place and you can right click copy right click paste you can do that to any type of element for the icons I don't want to use these default icons so I use a website called Nucleo I'll post a link in the comments. The reason I use this is because they have some awesome icons and awesome filters over here that help pimp my web design. So I'm just going to click outlines and for the size 64 and these are the type of icons I like using which are line icons. Very trendy. You can also add a accent color so it's a double color icon really awesome I downloaded three of them beforehand so I'm gonna click upload SVG and for graphic design let's put this one for video editing upload SVG we have this one and for photography we have this one which are all from the Nucleo website Let's change the titles. And photography. To style the section, I'm going to do a couple of things. The first thing is I don't want these three columns to be so wide. So in the intersection, or maybe we can do this even in the parent section. I'm going to play around with the content width until I get the layout I want. Let's say 970. And in the intersection, I'm going to change the columns gap to wider to have more space between the columns. If I would do that in the parent section, it would not affect the intersection. So make sure you're in the right place for the box itself want to make the icon bigger in the style tab over here we have icon size so just push that up to whatever you want let's say 70 72 
and for the content itself I want to change it to a lighter color to match the paragraph up here so description color and I'm going to make that a gray color we can make the text a bit smaller so it would be not as big as the subtitle over here let's say oops I changed the title by mistake let's say 14 pixels now we made a couple of changes to this icon box and to take these changes to the other boxes what we do is also right click copy and right click paste style that will only paste the style options that we've changed in the style tab in this tab over here which is pretty awesome next thing I want to do is I want to give a negative margin to this whole section or this whole column which both intersections are inside so I click on the column and I'm going into advanced margin and top I'm gonna to give a negative value just so we get some cool overlapping over here now this is pretty cool as it is but I want to give it a background color so in style I'm going to add a background type solid and color type white and that's the effect I wanted just so it gives us uh, some cool overlapping like we have over here and it's in consistent in design next thing I'm going to do is add some padding in the same place so click on padding top and I want to space this a little bit just so it won't be so adjacent to the borders we can add some bottom padding as well and I think we're almost all set let's add some padding on the sides everything looks pretty good next section which is really important this is actually the main section which will have experience and education as we have in every resume template so I'm gonna click plus add new section and I'm gonna split it into two columns one will be for education and the second one will be for experience let's add titles so I'm just gonna copy this one and paste it the reason I'm copying and pasting because I want to preserve the style so align it to the left and this one can be for education I'm gonna copy that and paste it over here and this one can be for experience perfect next thing I'm going to do is give these each a different color just to make it cool and trendy so the first one will be text color yellow and the other one will be text color pink let's add a background color to our section style background type classic color and we'll make that purple in the advanced tab I'm gonna add some padding I do this to almost every section if you notice just so they won't be so close to each other under education and experience I'm going to use an unlimited elements widget which is called timeline so I'm gonna search for the word timeline now there's a couple of these and you can experiment with them you can also see the demos on our website the one I'm going to use is going to be icon timeline so I'm just gonna drag that inside and you can see it's a really cool layout which is like a timeline layout each item has an icon a title a description and a date which is exactly good for resumes and CVs in the items you can delete copy duplicate I'm gonna delete one of them just so you can see this is how it looks with three in the general settings I can give the icon background the same color as the title just so the styling can fit and of course you can go one by one and change the icons and the text so let's just give an example and over here I'll search for the rocket icon 
that's how it looks. Let's copy this whole widget and paste it underneath the second title. What we need to do now is change the icon background color so it will fit. Last thing I want to do is adjust the spacing between the columns. I'll do that in the section. Right click on the section, edit section, layout, column gap, and wider. Just so we have some better spacing. Let's start our next section, which will be for the portfolio. Click the plus button, one column, and let's duplicate by copy and paste our title. Change the text to portfolio. Change the color to purple. And in the section settings by clicking on it going into advanced going to add padding 120 on top 120 on the bottom next thing I want to do is add a gallery so I'm just gonna click search for the word gallery basic gallery drag that inside and over here select some images create a new gallery insert gallery and our images are over here I want only three columns. Let's change the image size to be full. So it will take more space instead of just a column. And in the style tab, we can jump into spacing custom and we can play around with the spacing over here just so they won't be so close to each other. Very simple, very cool, very effective. Next section in our last section will be the skill section. So I'm going to click plus and split it into two columns. In the second column, I'm going to put an image. So just drag in the image. And over here, let's do choose image and choose the other image that we have. I think that looks cool. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a title. So let's copy the title from here, paste it down here, give it a name. And usually when you showing skills, we use we use progress bars. So I'm going to search for progress bar and drag that inside. Over here we can decide to have a title or an inner text. I'm going to use only the title so I can delete my inner text. You can change the value over here. And before I style it, I'll just add some background and padding to my section. So click on the section, style, background, color, and we can go for yellow we used already. Maybe this time I'll use pink. Cool. Looks cool with the image. And over here in the title, maybe let's change that to yellow, which also looks cool. Back to the section settings. Advanced padding 120 on top, 120 on the bottom. And in the skills over here, what I want to do is I'll change the style. In the style tab, we can choose a height just to make that a little bit fatter. And I think I'll change also the background color or the color itself just so it matches my title. Let's duplicate this one, two, three, and four times and change the data inside of here. So let's say Photoshop. And in over here under Photoshop, we can give a different content. So let's say 98% Photoshop. And let's say After Effects. In the content, I'm going to change it to 87. 
next one is going to be Illustrator. And over here we can do 89 or maybe like that. And the last one is going to be WordPress. And this one can be 100. Perfect. So these are the skills. I want the image to align better to the bottom over here. So I'm going to click on the column settings. And in vertical align, I can choose bottom just so it pushes down. We can also space between the title and the progress bars a little bit using padding. So let's just space between that a little bit. And I think we are all set with our CV resume. Let's click update and preview it without the Elementor sidebar and go over what we've done. So we have a hero section with some titles, a download CV resume button, which is awesome. We have our services, three columns. Down here, we have our timelines, one for education, one for experience, which is awesome. We have our portfolio, which you can navigate once it's opened the light box. You can close that. And down here, we have an awesome skills with progress bars. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.